Hi everybody, Stuart here again from the Green Alien Association here to talk about Trailwise 2, this time on devices. So I've got my iPad here which is what I normally use when I'm out and about. So I thought I'd show you how I do my route planning. I use on location a thing called Memory Map which is a app into which I have purchased a license uh, for the 1 to 25,000 Ordnance Survey Maps and that's a perpetual, perpetual license means that I've got it forever. Um, I paid £100 or so for this a few years back so it's a 2018 map but it's code totally stored in my device it's always there so if I lose signal the map is always there and the GPS in the device follows me around so I can know exactly where I am at any one time and I won't get lost however we're not here to talk about that we're here to talk about Trailwise so Trailwise as you probably know is not an app it runs in a browser window so let's open Safari which is the native browser for the iPad and there is Trailwise 2 so basically you'd log in in the same way, it looks exactly the same uh, as the window would look like in a PC in Chrome or whatever, it's just a slightly reduced size because you're running it on a device. So you've got the same as before, different maps, different layers, all the rest of it, you've got everything that you had previously and you pinch the zoom in and out. However, because this is running in a browser window, the map is not actually in the device, you have to have a signal to connect to it, which is why I don't generally use it in the field, although some people do. One thing that you can do on the device that you can't do uh, on the PC necessarily is that you have a top right hand side here, there's a little button that you can press, uh, which is the GPS locator. So GPS does work, the GPS of the device works within Trailwise. So if you click on track my location, and agree to let Trailwise have access to your device, then suddenly there's a circle showing exactly where I am in my office near the M3 and the M25. So this means that you can use Trailwise out on location, it will find you where you are, um, and then you can find the local lanes that you need as long as you've got a signal, and check out any comments on them. I'm going to go and look at a lane and show you how the comments work. So there you go, there's a lane local to me, it's just downloading now. Click on that. Four comments, open it as before. So because you're seeing a window within a window, you've got two options here. You can either scroll the map round within that window or if you put your finger on the right hand edge, you can scroll the page up and down. And that's what I need to do, scroll the page up and down and there are the comments. And you log in with Discuss in the same way that you normally would. So when you use Trailwise on a browser on a phone, it is a little bit more fiddly because it's smaller. But again, the same functions still apply. Look at all those winter TROs and various other bits and pieces I've come across. Uh, the same features are there, same maps, etc. And obviously you can also use the tracking system. Have to give it permission to do that on the phone and back in my office again. So there you go, Trailwise 2 works fine on the browser, on the device. So you can take it out in the field and enjoy all the benefits of Trailwise wherever you happen to be.